Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Symphony and today I'm going to be showing you guys a video. I'm going to be doing the mixed girl tag, which was pretty popular like a year ago, but why not do it? You know, I'm still mixed. So, so the first question is what are you mixed with? I'm just black and white, like that's it. Um, my mom's side is like European, like English and all that French, all that stuff that's happening and I'm not really too positive about my black side because my black side of the family was never really like present in my life so I'm not too positive um so yeah I'm just just black what ethnicity have you often been mistaken for I haven't really been mistaken for many ethnicity ethnicities um the only thing I've ever been mistaken for was like Puerto Rican and I think it's just because of the way my curl pattern is so they automatically assumed like I'm Hispanic, but I'm not. Was coming from different backgrounds challenging growing up? Um, I mean, not really, um, cause I grew up around my white side of the family and they were always like really accepting of like me just being a little bit black and everybody else was white. Like I never felt too uncomfortable about it. Uh, coming up from different backgrounds, wasn't really challenging for me um because where I grew up like from my younger years to like my middle school years um I was around a lot of like black people like the town I lived in was like majority black so I felt pretty comfortable with it like I never was like scared or insecure about it because everybody else looked like me when I moved to Virginia in middle school I moved to a predominantly white and that really kind of just like shook me up a little bit because I wasn't like used to this and all the guys like they like white girls they like black girls black girls not cute white girls are cute blah, blah, blah. and I just it made me a little bit insecure but once I started to get older I realized like I'm still like I'm still cute like it's okay like people have their preferences it's just it was a little bit uncomfortable for me because I had shifted from this predominantly black community to this predominantly white community and I was just like I don't fit in here this is not for me I want to go back so that was really the only challenging part about growing up mixed um otherwise it's totally okay which background do you embrace the most um I mean I embrace both sides like I always grew up around my white side of the family, not so much my black side of the family, so obviously like I embrace them because they're family and when I was younger I didn't really embrace my black side as much. I always wanted to have straight hair, I wanted to perm my hair, all that stuff. And then once I got to like 15, 16 years old, I was just like, you know what? I'm black. I got curly hair. I got natural hair. I'm a rocket. I think I embrace both sides equally now that I'm older. Um yeah have you ever been teased for being different um in elementary school there was just this one person and i remember it like clear as day because it like scarred me for life and i was just sitting in front of him in like science class and my i had my hair in like a bun and it was really poofy so it was kind of big and he was like can you like put your hair down because it's way too big and i can't see okay like it kind of just it threw me off and it made me feel like my hair wasn't normal or my hair was just getting in the way and like it's not cute and people don't like it and all that stuff so kind of just shifted my perspective um, when I got to middle school people would always say my hair looked like ramen noodles and that it feels like Cheetos and stuff like that and it's just like it's a little bit disrespectful like I was kind of just lost like is that like you calling my hair ugly just kind of opened my eyes as to like how people see me and how they think about my beauty I guess and it kind of just like took a knock at my self-esteem ramen noodles okay at the time I didn't realize how disrespectful that is and now that I'm older I'm just like if you ever say anything like that to me, don't talk to me again. Have you ever been ashamed of being multiracial? I don't think I've, I've been ashamed. Um, 
I have felt like the odd man out sometimes when I would go to family reunions on my mom's side because my mom is white my biological father is black so when I would go to her side of the family reunions I was the only black person in the room and it was a little weird for me because if you go to a place and absolutely nobody looks like you it's a little intimidating and they never treated me any different you know they really they really never like said anything or did anything or acted like I was any different from them now that I'm older I'm kind of okay with it because I mean it is what it is like they still they love me to death like they are not racist at all they do not care that I'm any bit of African they really don't they really embrace me and I'm very grateful for that um Otherwise, I don't think I've been ashamed. Do you feel like being mixed has its benefits? I feel like being anything has its benefits in a way. Some people tend to think that light skins are like the beautiful, like the most beautiful type of black woman, which I think is like totally like not right. There are seriously like so many beautiful brown skin, dark skin, like just females like they're so beautiful and there's beautiful white people there's beautiful everything you know what i'm saying like there's no dominant race or color that's more beautiful than another in my eyes it's not a benefit because i think of everybody as being equally as beautiful but to some people i guess they would think that it's preferable to be light-skinned but otherwise i don't think it has too many benefits what makes being multiracial a beautiful thing i think being multiracial is beautiful because it's basically it's like the future like there's not gonna be any more of a pure race like because so many people are just breeding and there's so many different ethnicities coming together in these new children and it's just it's beautiful to me and I feel like there's never gonna be any pure white race or something within like the next hundred years like it's not gonna be a thing people have just been switching it up for so long and we've just been putting everybody in a mixing bowl and popping them out. I think it's pretty beautiful because I feel like it's a major step, not just in the so in our like American society, just in the world as a whole. I think it's great that people are breaking the thoughts that their ancestors might have had that they can't have children with other people of different races. I'm glad that we have abandoned that mentality. Um, it's beautiful and everybody should should love it do you have any advice to somebody struggling with their multiracial identity the only advice I really have is to just learn how to love yourself I was just a little bit insecure growing up about how I looked and being natural and having this big fluffy curly hair and nobody around me having that sort of hair and I didn't want it I wanted to have straight hair like all the other white girls in my school you know what I'm saying like I just wanted to fit in but once I got older and more mature, you just realize like, I'm beautiful in my own way. Those girls are still beautiful, but I am as well. I don't have to look like them to be accepted. I just think that the best way to overcome a struggle of dealing with who you are is to learn how to love yourself. And that's the best advice to give anybody. So, love yourself, because you're great. So you guys, that is it for this video. I hope that this video could help somebody maybe that's struggling with learning how to love themselves and feeling out of place. Maybe this could have shed some light onto that uh, situation. But otherwise, thank you guys for watching. Please be on the lookout for some new videos. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the new stuff coming up. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it so much. I will see you guys next time. Bye.